So welcome everyone. Today's webinar is going to be about how to generate leads using chatbots. Um, I'm Dan Wardrobe and we've got Gareth here as well. Um, so specifically, I'm going to relate this uh, chat today to pay, the pay per lead industry, which is, uh, you know, what you guys are all interested in um, most likely because you're here, you've been following my content, you know, we're a pay per lead agency. So um, we're going to relate all of this back to pay per lead. And I think you're going to be excited about, um, you know, what you're going to learn, learn here because Gareth certainly opened my eyes um, uh, late last year. Anyway, mate, next slide. Cool. Oh, uh, one moment. Oh, there you go. So usual stuff with us guys. Um, you, you know, like anything, I'm, a, I'm a, a bit of a victim of this as well. I get sidetracked by my phone and YouTube and alerts and all that type of stuff. So just tune in for an hour. I don't think it's going to go much longer than that. You're going to enjoy this. You might as well give us the gift of time. Okay. <laughs> so what's next? Um, most of you know me by now. Uh, so my name's Dan Wardrobe. I have paper lead agencies in the UK, Canada, and Asia. And I have my program where we <laughs> teach people to move away from um, working with lower kind of value local clients on a retainer basis to working with national level clients on a pay per lead basis. So we basically practice what we preach. I have my agencies, pay per lead agencies, which are very successful, doing very well. And we, we take what we learn from my pay per lead agencies and put it into our program. Um, and I'll give you a little hint as well. We actually learn a lot from some of our students and we put some of that stuff back into our, um, you know, our, our own agency. And that's exactly what's happened in this situation. So Gareth, um, we'll talk a bit more about what, how we found Gareth and how we've come to know each other, but he actually bought my program probably about a year ago now, maybe a little about, bit more. About a year and a half, I'd say, maybe a little bit more actually. A year and a half ago. So um, some of the stuff that we're learning from our students is just blows me away. There's a lot of smart people out there. So um, one of the main reasons I, I built my, built this education program is so I could get better. My agency could get better as well. And it's been um, one of the best things I've ever done. All right. Next slide. Cool. All right. That's so me. a bit of a, like, I'll, uh, yeah, as I was saying, I met Gareth um, probably about 18 months ago. Didn't hear much from you, Gareth, for a little yeah. bit, really. Um, I had, I just had, I had a lot of stuff going. I knew that I wanted to get involved because it was a super valuable I mean, it just like, the stuff that goes on in the course now just proves it. But I, I always knew that that was the way to go. But I had a lot of loose ends I needed to tie up. So I just wanted to get involved, get paid, get in. And then when the time was right, I could approach you. Yep. And um, that was about 18 months ago. Uh, what happened was, uh, we'll, we'll touch on this a little bit later, but what happened is that um, Gareth approached me and said, Dan, you need to look at the chatbots thing. I didn't know much about it. And because you're in the UK, Gareth, you, you popped down and we, we, we did some cool stuff together. But anyway, over to you. Tell us a bit about yourself, Gareth. Yeah, cool. So um, I've, been, I've, been building, I've been building Chatbot since 2016, since they launched. I, I used to build on a platform called Chatfuel and then I found ManyChat and things just kind of kind of <laughs> snowballed from there. Um, I, live in, I live in Cambridge in the UK, 27 now, father of two, as you can see. I've got my oldest one in the... Uh, middle picture there and my youngest one who's just about to turn one in the in the lower picture uh, slightly overweight but we're trying to trying to figure that <laughs> out um so i've been my, my kind of chat chat marketing uh journey i've been i've been mentored by the top three experts in in chat marketing two official and one who i would regard as the as the as the top top three all in all in the us because that's kind of where it was born um, I found great success using video ads. Um, I actually had a failing campaign and realized like, I, just, I, just, I just couldn't get my head around building landing pages and all that kind of stuff. And then I realized I could actually use the chat box to, to get the, um, to, 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 to pull all the information out of the, out of the leads and stuff like that. So I went down that route. Um, and I started doing a little bit of lead gen and then I found Dan and realized, oh yeah, okay, this, now I have all these other tools. I can really start to turbocharge this thing. And then I actually ended up winning the, uh, the mini chat competition of 2019. So I won a first place prize out of 75,000 entrants. So there was, there was 20 first place prize winners and I'm the one of two in the UK. So, 
so, yeah, some some would regard me to be the best. I, I mean, that's partly true, but <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only missing. I'm pretty, no, no. I'm pretty, good, I'm pretty good at what I do. Um, Proof is in the pudding, mate. You won, you, the, won the reward, yeah. We've had great success. So in, so in the last 12 months, I've done about a million pounds worth of uh, lead value on front end, on the back end. I'm, I'm, I'm not even too sure. It's probably a little bit more. Um, I'm a many chat agency partner, official, official messenger marketing expert, and obviously now competition winner. And I've had great success in uh, in immigration, in paper leads, life insurance in a paper lead style, uh, investment brokerage to all kinds of investments in a paper lead style, financial services, a wide range, again, paper leads. I've, I've even done uh, wine brokerage. Uh, so I have some restaurant clients where we send out coupons and reminders up to get the coupon and do all of that in Messenger. And pretty much anybody anywhere has Messenger. Um, I'm doing really well at the moment. So, and long live that. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Okay, so just to give you guys a bit of a heads up, um, there is uh, an offer at the end of this webinar. <laughs> I have, so I've been doing this for 18 months um, and I've been educating and helping people and I've sent, you know, hundreds, maybe thousands of emails and I've done quite a few webinars and I never once have I promoted anything in all of my time yes. to my, to my list of people. Okay. Um, that isn't kind of my own thing. So I, the only reason I'm doing that here, here is because I think that um, what Gareth is, well, what he's done for us is amazing. And what he's offering here, I think he's actually, like, no joke, I think he's being a bit stupid by offering what he's doing because the, the package that he's giving away is, is just uh, ridiculous. So You have to make I, it irresistible, right? I haven't got, you know, but it, I think you're going to be run off your feet here. Um, I... You know, I'm not. I haven't got any kind of affiliate offering or anything like that. I'm not a, a you know, I'm not getting compensated for anything to do with this. I'm doing it a, a, a goodwill gesture for for Garth because I believe in what he's doing and how he's how he's helped us. And uh, that's all I want to say about that. But my my story with um, paper lead and and chatbots, um, I've, I've kind of you know, like most of us, I've been familiar with with many chat. I went to um, Traffic and Conversion Summit in San Diego, I think early 2019 or 18, it all kind of blends into one now. I think it was 2019. And I, I didn't think that messenger campaigns could produce leads at volume. And well, you know, we, we do over a thousand leads a day in our agency and volume's a big part of what we do. Um, and I've always been a massive fan of segmentation and, and surveys and quizzes, i.e. driving traffic from a number of different traffic platforms to a survey funnel uh, and we ask questions in that survey funnel and that we then segment the leads and we sell them to different people based on the answers that they've given. Pretty simple stuff, right? And um, towards kind of mid-2019, I had a look, Just I was just playing around, I had a look under the, the hood of ManyChat and um, I noticed all of these kind of decision trees and the way people are segmented off and it looked very similar to what we use within Leadshook, which is all, all of you guys listening here will know how much of a big fan I am of, of Leadshook. And it's basically the same thing. So Leadshook's been amazing. And then I'm, I'm like, oh, wow. So you can do all this within ManyChat and keep people inside the, um, you know, the Facebook platform without having to leave. And it's pretty powerful stuff. And the penny kind of dropped for me then. Um, and around this time, as I was saying, I noticed a young man um, who'd bought my program um, and in our community, in our private Facebook group, it's about 350 people there now. And he started kind of posting some results that he was getting in some of these paper lead industries. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, that's interesting. And it turned out he was British. Cambridge is maybe two and a half, three hours away from us. And I said, wow. come down to our office bright, uh, in Brighton, Gareth. Yeah. And, and uh, he, he said, well, let's have a look at one of your verticals and see what we can do. So he built us a workflow and uh, we we're generating leads for three pounds on a 35 pound per lead vertical, which was pretty amazing. And um, disclosure, I mean, there were three pound leads, but we sell prime leads for a little bit more than that. So kind of one in two, one in three, um, uh, the prime leads and the others go to different company, uh, different companies on a back end deal or a, some kind of a hybrid deal. So it wasn't quite that type of profit margin, but the leads coming through um, into, you know, our system at three, three pounds were, you know, half half the price of or even even maybe even a third of the price of what we're doing via normal marketing methods so yeah. it was pretty pretty exciting stuff 
yeah, yeah, yeah. So just just to touch on what you said there, Dan, about about the price, um, Facebook Facebook will reward you for keeping um, their users on their platforms because that's what they 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 get they they're an advertising company, so they they make money when they show ads to people, and they can only show ads to people if they're on their platform. So if we're using Messenger, which is a Facebook product, to drive traffic. They're still on the platform. They can still serve them ads, and you get rewarded for keeping them on that platform. You also get rewarded in lower cost per thousand, a higher reach for lower cost, and um, something else. Can't remember what it was now. Uh, it was quite important, but I'll let you know if I remember. <laughs> uh, all good. All right. So, what do we got? Cool. Okay. So, um, so I just wanted to just give give a bit of credit for for, for to my team here. I've I've uh, managed to build a team. The chat market is going super well for me. Um, so I've managed to build a team. I, so this is Dominic. I actually went to school with Dominic. Um, he's he's a very tech savvy tech savvy gentleman. Um, this is this is Liam. I actually spend most of my days with this guy. <laughs> so we we share an office together. Um, he does TV ads. I do all the social stuff and and, and chat stuff. Um, so so he's also part of my team as well um, of, of builders. So Dom and Liam both build for me. And this is <laughs> this gentleman. His pajamas here is is Jamie. We call him the Greek because. He's actually completely English, but he looks Greek, and he's he's very skilled in the in the chat realm. Uh, and I'm very lucky to have a team around me in the UK who are who are reliable. They're also close friends, and we've had a great laugh building some like excellent campaigns. So, just wanted to give those guys a little bit of credit because I know some of them are on the call here. Nice. Um, so first off, um, question I get a lot is, what the hell is a chatbot? Um, and the, the 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 main main difference or the, the the thing that's most similar and dissimilar at the same time is is very very similar to email marketing and i just just kind of wanted to see what the audience was saying um about this but does, does, does anybody know what the average open rate for uh, for emails is right now so if you if you do just uh, just drop it in the chat it's uh i'll give you a clue okay. My, mine's about tw uh so about 20 25 percent if it's a good one yeah. someone's saying so you're saying 20 percent 25 percent people have oh, wow. opened my emails and about uh two percent click through two to three percent click through yeah cool okay cool so we've got 50 so i'm saying 50 percent they're getting okay that's cool that's that's all good if you get 50 percent then, then then congrats um the industry as a whole so email marketing over everything is Average open rate of 22% and an average click through rate of 3%. So it's super low. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the people who get emails are actually interested in the products. And this is where Messenger really kicks off because the average open rate, and this applies to broadcast. So this isn't messages sent. Message sent is 100% open rate. If I'm going to send a broadcast, average open rate is 85%. And the average click through rate at the moment is 68%. So considerably higher than. Uh, than, than emails and that's just for a broadcast this isn't on a flow like a normal flow is open rate of 100 percent and click rate of 100 percent as well so so that's that so that's that's pretty cool um it's similar to email marketing in the way that you can automate contact uh so send you know the first message the second message third message so on you can segment the audience by the action um you can build an asset in list form so again another thing if, if you're running leads here um you, you're, you're not just, you know, it's not just one and done. You're building a, a list here of people who have showed interest in some product or the other, and you can always reach back out to them and know that they're going to open the message. So it's super important for anyone who's doing leads, or if you, even if you're not doing leads, to build your list. Like Dan will tell you how a list is. Dan, am I wrong? Oh, yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. a list, a list is... Well, yeah, we'll talk more about the list anyway, but you can also send broadcast messages. So, so that's essentially an email blast, but inside of Messenger. And, you know, you can see the open rates down there, 85%. Why yeah. is it dissimilar to email? Because it operates mainly on Messenger, and we'll talk more about that a little bit later. But um, you, can, you can segment the audience by their attributes and then send different conversations based on the questions that they've answered. It's very fluid. Uh, it's fast. You can send dynamic conversations, so dynamic images. Um, somebody might, a man might find a, an image more appealing than a woman, and this can be done um, time after time after time. 
at the user's leisure. So they're not, you know, it's a very open conversation. So they can they can go through it very, very quickly or they can go through it slowly, but it's always open. And the platform is in its infancy right now. Um, as you can see, 400% better open rates and 2000% better click through rates um, than email. You can reduce your manual workload by, I mean, if you want to automate it like completely, as we did do for Dan actually, you can reduce the manual workload by 100%. You can attach these bots to ads to book appointments. Uh, they can serve as customer service agents, so maybe on your website. Um, but they can also serve as, and this is where, where like the, the penny dropped for me, really, is to see that you can actually build a landing page job inside a bot. It collects the information, and the, the best bit is they don't even have to type their email or their phone number. The phone number and email is pre-populated. Whatever they have associated with their Facebook account, it will come up and they tap it. So you're just reducing that friction there. Um, other dissimilarities, you can connect uh, what we call natural language, natural language processing engines um, to have human conversations. So you could literally have a conversation with it. It's more, more for a customer service standpoint. So uh, you know, if you were a bike repair shop, someone might message the page and say, hey, my bike's broken, and the bot will go, okay, uh, there's a problem, what's the problem, what do I need to ask? What's the problem, what do you need replacing on your bike? So it's, it's just natural language processing is possible, uh, more for customer service. Integrations with 2000 plus apps, and that's without kind of jigging a couple of things around, but 2000 apps, so you're talking, you can link directly to uh, Google Drive, Google Sheets, uh, Stripe, um, HubSpot, Salesforce, pretty much any app that's popular, you can link this bot to that. So either send information from it, pull information from it, or get it to do something after that. Um, you can have live agent inter intervention as well. So if there comes a point where the bot can't handle it, the bot will pop up and say, hey, hey guys, I can't handle this one. Can you jump in? And you can even route that to specific people. So uh, I'll talk more about that a bit later on. But there's essentially, there's an, it's not the same as email marketing. A lot of people think it is, but there's an untold um, amount, of, amount of use cases here. And there's actually, this is something not a lot of people know. There's 20 billion messages exchanged per month between businesses and people. That's not people to people, that's between businesses and people. And at the moment, less than 1% of businesses are using chatbots. So... What I want to do here is just on the right hand side, just kind of show you guys. So this is my profile up here on the right um, in a bot that I built. And you can see everything in here that, that um, all the information that we hold on me. So, you know, you can see how I came into the bot, what fields they have for me, uh, what, you know, they've got my age, they've got my, my product, like everything, everything that you ask this person that, you know, it's, it's retained and you can use that. Like that's like, it's so important to build a detailed list on this person because Someone who's got kids would respond differently to a message to someone who hasn't got kids. So we can start tailoring this kind of stuff. Um, and just in the right hand here in the bottom, this is just quickly just to show you guys how it looks. So you can kind of see like what the, you know, subscribe, how many unsubscribes you've had versus subscribes that you've got, how much of your audience is, you know, uh, male or female and what language they speak. And, you know, then obviously you can go into the profiles and, and kind of check out what's going on there. So that's enough with that. How was that, Dan? <laughs> yeah, good, mate. Very well, um, this is the most important thing for you guys to take away today. HubSpot, a very well-known email marketing um, CRM, they conducted a study recently which says 86% of consumers would like you, not all today, would like you to send them promotional emails and messages at least once per month. These people want to hear from you. Times are changing. So there we go. So, uh, Dan, do you maybe want to talk a bit about this one? Yeah, so uh, we've got a vertical um, that we've been in for a very long time um, as a paper lead agency. And we, uh, you know, have been testing different types of advertorial funnels and quiz funnels and all sorts of stuff to be able to, um, you know, get quality leads at the back of that funnel. Okay. And what I basically said to, to Gareth was when he was down here, I said, here's the funnel that's working for us. Go and build that in ManyChat and see what happens. And um, yeah, that's what happened. I can hear you fine, Gareth. Cool, cool, fantastic. Yeah. I, just, I just saw somebody popped in there, they can't, they can't hear me, but that's, that's fine. Yep. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, 
you, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Like whenever I go to a, to, to a business to see what we can do with chat marketing, we need to look at what's working first, how we can optimize that, and then look at what we can bring in new. So for you, the, 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 my first concern was like, would it fit your demographic? Because the demographic was somewhat older. Um, I think 30 plus. Yeah, 30 plus. So they're, you know, yeah. and off, the, off the bat, a lot of people thinking, oh, maybe it doesn't fit. Also, uh, we were leading with a lead magnet. So, uh, you know, the, the, the next question is, when do you give the lead magnet? Do you give the lead magnet in goodwill and then hope that they, hope that they uh, convert or, or, or they, are they just going to go? So we had to kind of test that one. Uh, and then because of the legalities in, in the niche, it actually turned into quite a long sequence. So it was actually a 10 step funnel. So the next question was, how do we keep them engaged? And then, you know, if we do lose people, how do we re-engage them? And then finally, how do we, how do we um, maximize the power of messenger? Because it's a, it's a tool that does more than one thing. So um, just to let everybody know before I kind of go into this, for Dan's privacy, I've, I've, I have removed certain um, words and things that, that relate specifically to the niche because of, I, I don't think he wants to share that. He hasn't said anything to me. <coughs> no, no, no. So, so you're basically going to go through the flow that you built for us, but not show too much of our stuff, hopefully. Yeah, that, yeah hopefully, yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, we're, we're going to go through the flow that worked for Dan. Um, there's, there's another flow that I wanted to show you guys, which, which works super, super well as well. Um, but, but yeah, so we're just going to go through this and in this presentation, you're going to see exactly why Messenger is the route that you guys, if, even if you're not doing it, like at least give it some thought because this is, this is powerful stuff here. So um, cool. Right. Let's, let's, let's jump into it. Uh, what do we do? So, so this is the flow that worked for you, Dan. Um, so this is just a basic lead gen flow. So, uh, so we're going to start down here in the, in the green box. It's essentially the prospect, um, clicks on the learn more button, they, they um, open Messenger and start the qualifying flow, then they go through four sets of questions here. You can see the yellow boxes on the right hand side. If they don't answer those questions or they're not qualified, they then, the, the, the bot will say, okay, did these guys answer the question? If they did and they're not qualified, they go to the subprime lead client. If they did and they're qualified, then they go to this little blue box here, which is the follow up. So that's follow up one, two, three, and four. I could put that in different, but there'd be lines everywhere. So essentially what's happening here is if people disengage, they're, they're going to be followed up with four times to get to, for us to get them back. When they go back through there, they're going to be saying, hey, they get a message that says, hey, um, based on the answer you've given us, we can help you. Do you want to speak to an expert? Again, if they say if they say no, they get follow up to persuade them to you know you, you could do it because of X, Y, and Z. Like these are the problems it's going to solve. If they say yes, all it's going to do is ask the best contact time. So we're literally going to grab the best contact time. We're going to grab the email, the phone number, send the data to a Google Sheet, um, and send a notification to the client, and send confirmation to the lead. And then at the end, this is the best bit. They will then share that with a friend. So. Um, yeah, that's what excited me when you showed me this slide deck before and I couldn't believe that I was actually, people were sharing our funnel and we were getting free leads, which yeah. never happens, never yeah, happens. Was, there's an absolutely mind-blowing slide on that in about two, two, two or four slides time. Um, it's going to be super, it's crazy. But I just wanted to show everyone quickly here. It's very, very simple to build a flow. So, you know, it's, it's not anything mad. The, the, the main thing is about tweaking the copy, finding what works best. And that's really what takes the time guys. Um, just, just for future reference, I've, I'm going to be giving something away to you guys, which has all of my best copy in there, which I've been practicing for three years to find what one converts. I finally found the, the, the you know, formula that works well for me. And that's what I'm going to be giving away. So you don't need to tweak or build anything like I'm building over here. It's literally all done. You just need to fill in the blanks. But it's, it's very easy to build is essentially what I'm trying to show you with this video. So um, this is, I'm just going to show a video of, of, of how someone, how that flow might work. Is, is that, is that all right? Yep. Cool. So uh, this is essentially the intro. They're going to, they're going to say, yes, it's all okay. We're going to ask you two to four quick questions. So as, as everyone can see, there's type in there. We're keeping people engaged. It's dynamic. Um, it's fun. You've got emojis in there. This is super important to let people know how many questions and how long it's going to go on for. 
Um, little balloons popping up on the screen there. Just, you know, just micro rewards is what we call those to keep people engaged. Like, oh, I didn't know that was going to happen. That's, yeah, that's quite fun. This um, is very cool. So this is essentially what we ask in our, in our quizzes, you know, yeah. whether they've got kids, whether they've, um, you know, PDF or, you know, whether they're, what their credit score is like, if they're a homeowner, all this type of stuff. And they go down different paths based on the, those answers. Exactly, exactly. So, and this is, this is super important. So everyone can see this guy, Cole Stevens here. I've seen Cole, so I'm demoing this flow. I've seen Cole because I'm a man. If, you, if I was a lady, I would see Kate Stevens because, you know, for somebody to take your claim up, it's logical to assume that a man would feel more comfortable speaking to a man and a woman would feel more comfortable speaking to a woman. So that's what I'm talking about, the dynamic, you know, the dynamic stuff. And that's just like really, really powerful stuff. It make, it makes Does that happen because you've asked a question or Facebook just knows? Facebook just knows. So I, right. I know the gender. We don't have to ask people. I know the gender. The condition is, condition is male, see the man. Condition is woman, see, see this female character that I've mocked nice. up. Nice, nice. That's cool. That is cool. We can, we can let people know here that we're... Oh, Sorry, guys. We can let people know here that we're. Uh, oh, sorry, I've just lost it. It's the next one. Uh, we can let people know here that we're GDPR compliant before asking for this email address. Um, this this is you know something that, that I'm going to give to you guys as well, and this is super powerful. Again, you'll notice here this little box. Uh, it says, "Please confirm your phone number." Yeah. Um, this is pre-populated, so I don't need to fill that in. That I, all I need to do, as you'll see, is just tap that, and that's that's now logged my phone number in the system. We're just going to ask them. So this is actually the flow that works for you. Um, they can they can select the time by this. It's all it's all very user friendly. It's, you know, there's nice colours and stuff like that. Nothing that people aren't aren't used to using, and that's the most important thing. We're keeping people comfortable in a place that they're, they're comfortable with, and, and then again, because I'm a man, I get this picture of Joey and Chanda celebrating. If I was a woman, I'd get a picture of Phoebe and Rachel celebrating. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, yeah, and then, and then this is what you, uh, I, I, there was a notification message at the end, like this is, this is just what the, uh, what the admin would get. You've got a new lead, this is the name, this is the phone, contact them this time, go get them, Tiger. And, that data has now been sent to a Google Sheet. So all we've done there is just collect the, 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 the name, number, and the time they want to be called. Yeah, um, and, it's a, and you can go to a Google Sheet, but you'd be able to zap it to, you know, we use lead distribution software. You could put the, put the lead anywhere you wanted, right? Yeah, that's right. So you, so, you, yeah, so you could easily zap it into an email and off to the client or a text message and off to the client. Or sometimes we can do call patching. So it will actually, if the lead says, I want to be called right now, we can actually dial the dial the uh, the client, the client yep. will the phone. That will then dial the lead, and they just put. It's called call patch, call patching. It's a little bit more advanced, but it is it is, it is possible and very effective as well. Um, so that brings me on to the next thing. And not, again, another another question for the for the audience here is: Does anybody know what the average response time uh, for email inquiries is at the moment? Does anybody know? It's a bit of a there's there's a lot of options there, but um, what do you mean? So people that have said they want to they want to call about a product or service yeah yeah so how long does it take for the for the uh the customer so the, sorry so a client, client to call the customer exactly how long does it take for, for the client? well you would hope it would be i mean 12 hours is ridiculously bad yeah 12 hours is ridiculously bad a lot of people yeah. say 44 b 72 cool well the actual answer is the best of the bunch is 12, but even still, like, that's just terrible. That's just terrible. Um, so this is quite interesting. Um, I've been personally mentored by Grant Cardone and his team, um, and, and, and some of my team have as well. And one of the statistics that, that they've pulled up, because these, these guys do 100, 100 calls a day each. So they, this is super data that they have here. And so they, they believe that, or maybe another question for the audience, okay, John saying D, What's the likelihood of the conversion increase if, if responded to in five minutes time? John says D, what does everybody else say? Yeah, D, I would say, yeah. yeah. D, yeah, lots of Ds there. Yeah, lots of Ds. All right, cool, everyone's right, it is, it is D. So if you respond within five minutes, you're gonna, you're gonna close, the, or you've got 9.1 times more likely closing these guys. So the question I would ask you is, imagine if we could service prospective clients instantly, well, listen, with chatbots, we can. And that's why those statistics are so crazy, but that's what makes them so powerful. Yeah, and, and uh, this is 
even with the people that come into our program, this is one of the things that, that the constant struggle is, is the client is saying the leads aren't good quality. Yes. And, uh, and they're like, what do I need to do to my funnel? You know, is there something wrong? Facebook ads, it's maybe not the best. And usually my answer always is what's your, your client doing? How quickly are they picking up the phone? Do they have follow-up procedures? Do they email? Do they do all the things that they should be doing? And most of the time, it turns out that they're not and it will be six hours before they pick up the phone. Yeah. It'll also, there'll be no text message marketing. There'll be no nothing. And yeah. that's what, um, that's what kills campaigns. It's not your leads. It's the, yeah. um, it's the, the client, mm-hmm. unfortunately. We actually have a, a thing here. So all the campaigns that I run, when I send the lead off to the client, the, the, um, the client gets a notification an email and text the lead gets a notification email and text and they actually get asked a question. So so when they convert, they get asked a question, Hey, uh, so-and-so. So it will say, Hey, first name, were you contacted? So 20 minutes later, they'll get a message to say, have you been contacted? And they either say yes or no. And if the client comes back to say, you know, the leads weren't converting as well. And I'll say to them, well, look, like all of these people have said to me that they, they haven't received a call from you in 20 minutes. So, I don't know what to say to you. So that's so that's just another way that you guys can protect yourself. If you do decide to use chatbots, you can protect yourself and say, hey, look, these guys have said to me that you haven't followed up. So, or even called them in 20 minutes. Like, so what are you doing? Yeah, that's cool. So, cool. Um, so, so, so number one for Dan, would it fit the demographic? Well, uh, yeah, this, this is just a little map just to show you guys where, uh, oh, it's, mm, it's kind of moved. Oh, well, look, anyway, all the, all the gray here, is basically where Messenger is the most prominent um, messaging app. So obviously over in uh, China and Russia is a little bit different. They use like, well, China, they use WeChat, but they're not allowed access to what to um, certain certain systems and stuff. But all of the gray here is is where ManyChat is most, is most popular, basically. Or sorry, where Messenger is most popular, not ManyChat, where Messenger is most popular. So, you know, the UK, all of the most profitable countries, like the whole of the US, um, so oh cool so this is something for you guys so in the in the uk messenger is the third most used app across all ages um the only thing that changes here is facebook is used more by the older uh, the, the older generation so dan's audience sits like between 35 and 54 so facebook messenger is perfect for these guys even more so in the in in the us um you know, Facebook is, is, is prominent everywhere. Like, so, so sometimes people say to me, oh, is it only on Messenger? Yes, it's only on Messenger, but you know, there's 2 billion monthly active users. So unless you're trying to get 2 billion leads, you haven't got to worry about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I've, I've got two people have just raised their hand. Um, I don't usually do this, but um, let's, uh, let's just start, let them ask a question. Um, yeah. Matt, Matt, I don't know whether you've, you want to talk. Um, how uh, do I do this? Un- unmute himself. Is it participant? Oh, maybe he's not. Maybe this is gonna. This test is gonna absolutely fail. Oh, um, permitted. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can. Or Matt, you can type it. I'm looking at the box now. If you want to type, right. I'll let him type rather than talk. I think it didn't work. John, same thing. Let's just let's just do it at the end during the Q and A part, if you don't mind. Um. All right. Continue on, mate. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Sorry. 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 Um. Right, I just need to move these screens here. Sorry, mate. Uh, cool. So just just to show you guys um, the aff- the affluence band as well. So like people of all all affluence levels are using Messenger. Um, oh, Matt says he must have asked a question by accident. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so yeah. So people, of all, this is this. You guys might want to take a screenshot of this just to show you know if, if you're going to use it for a client or whatever it may be. Um, everyone's on it everyone's on it just screenshot that and you know that's <laughs> it's really good so so um most importantly down in the bottom here you can see many chat the icon actually sur- is surrounded by whatsapp instagram text and the little messenger icon here as well and that's because many chat is on the brink of integrating whatsapp uh instagram dms uh text message marketing is already available in certain countries through the many chat platform and obviously still on messenger so so the answer is yes it does fit your demographic um, oh, and sorry, I'll tell you what, just quickly, if we look at row four here in the UK, um, out of all of these messaging apps, Facebook Messenger is actually the most, the most 
prominent one. So out of, even out of all the messaging apps, there's actually more people on messaging apps than there is social media, just to quickly throw that out there to you guys. Um, so second problem, when to give the PDF, because, you know, firstly, that's what they came for, but would they take the PDF and run? Or, you know, on, on the other hand, if we give it first, would, would we, would, you know, would we lose the lead? So what we did here was a, was a, a, a randomizer test. So we were sending 50% of the traffic down um, the forced, the forced route, sorry, uh, down here, the forced route. Uh, so to give the details and then give the PDF and then over the unforced route, we're giving the PDF first and then, um, then get in the, get in the details. And it actually turned out that if you look in the bottom two squares here, um, the, the top one, so the top one shows uh, all the people that went down the forced route and still sent their data. And the bottom one shows all of the people that went down the unforced route and, and didn't send their data. So actually 98% of people still wanted to be contact, contacted despite giving the lead magnet first. So leading with the lead magnet first was a really, really good idea, basically. Um, nice. and, and the people that weren't forced, uh, sorry, the people that were forced, uh, Sorry, uh, sorry, the people that were forced but didn't, didn't send their data was still, so 24 people out of 200, uh, 24, 24, so out of 300 people, 24 people said, said they, they don't want to send their data in exchange for the lead magnet, basically. Um, I hope that was clear enough for everyone. <laughs> yeah, you got that, got there in the end. Cool, yeah, apologies. Um, so again, so obviously it was a long, it was a long funnel. So, so how do we keep people engaged through this funnel? Well, you guys obviously saw part of this already. Um, just giving people these images, keeping people's eyes engaged and, 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 uh, stuff like that is, is really important just to, cause it's, it's, it's different to any other experience. You know, you, you can, you can send these uh, balloons up on the screen and all that kind of stuff. And more importantly, I touched on this earlier, this pink line here actually represents where a female would go if they, if they were going through the flow. So there you can see Kate Stevens and the man would get Carl Stevens, um, and these little these little yellow boxes here are just tags to say you know what they've done, where they got to. So we can always look back in the data and say how many people got to this stage and how many people didn't complete, but where did they get to? So we can start to adjust the funnel. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, I touched on this again earlier. Just a little pro tip here: if you are doing questions, make sure you number the questions to let people know whereabouts they are in the flow. Um, the great thing about Messenger, again, you saw this earlier, but we can give people um, massive amounts of confidence to submit their data by showing them images as if we are GDPR compliant. You know, it's up to you if you ain't, but you should be. So, so uh, if you are, include that. Like that, that made a massive difference in your campaign, Dan, by the way, and actually all of my campaigns. Yeah. Uh, email pretty popular, just creating less friction there. And, uh, you know what you guys you guys saw this earlier but all i was all i was going to show you is the balloons just the balloons popping up on the screen um so if we hit continue there so the balloons come up on the screen and, and the user can actually play with those if they like as you can see i've done, done with that orange one so that's again i'm not i'm not going to play the whole video because um uh we don't you know you you, you saw it already but let's let's just see Oh, this is actually something good for you guys to know. So we can see here, we're just summarizing the details for these guys. So, you know, they've given, they've given their details, uh, first name, last name, phone number. And then these are the investment details that, they, that they've given us as well. The next question is going to be, are these correct? If they say yes, the next question, sorry, if they say no, the next question will be, what's not correct? Is it your personal details or your investment details? Reason we do that is so they don't have to go all through the funnel again. We can just put them back to the to the part that's not correct and just, again, reduce that friction. Does that make sense? Mark asked how you do the balloons. Sorry? Mark asked how you did the balloons. How, how do the balloons? Uh, Mark, if you, if you want to do the balloons, all you do is literally put a balloon emoji in a single in a single box. Uh, so if you look down on number two, you can see that, that balloon emoji in that single box there. And that will send the balloons on mobile. It won't send it on desktop, but it will on mobile. Also, you can do a love heart. It will send love hearts on the screen. We can do a snowflake and the snowflakes will fall from the top of the screen. <laughs> For anyone right. that wants to know. Um, cool. So, again, it was a long funnel. So, how do we re-engage the users that we lose? So, this, this video in the top here, I'm just going to show you everyone who, who is qualified um, and sent the data. 
Um, and the tag is got the first follow up. So, so essentially what I'm showing you guys here is we can follow up with people if they don't complete the desired action, they can, we can follow up with people. Uh, and so after the first follow up, we saved 16 leads. And after the second follow up, we saved an additional, an, ad, oh, an additional 20, an additional 26 leads there. Um, so, so that was actually 6% of all of the completed leads came from follow up. So, you know, if you, if you do that over a hunt, uh, over, over, well, wh whatever it may be, there's, there's a lot of leads. There's a lot of leads saved there. My mouse isn't, isn't, isn't this good. <laughs> um, That's all right. so it seems, it seems like a small number to save, but on the right hand side here is a client of mine. So this is a, um, an immigration client. And if you look down in the, in the bottom where it says, uh, so where the tags are, um, it says, so I'm, I'm saying to many chat here, show me everybody who inquired and tried to book, but did not complete the booking consultation. So there's 671 abandoned bookings. So after the first follow up, we managed to grab 44 people back. Um, so that's actually 6% again. So we usually see between six and 10% of leads saved using the follow up. Amazing. Tell us a bit about uh, the results you've been getting with the immigration lawyer. I know I'm, 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 I've actually got a slide on that. Um, oh, coming up. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've got a slide on that. Continue. Yeah, it's a little bit further down the road, but it's, it's, it's massive. So stay around for that one. Um, cool. Okay. So this is, this is the best bit. This is the bit that you love, Dan. This is about reproducing, reproducing leads and getting people to share. So, um, this video is is just showing um, the amount of leads qualified. So we so we we gathered how many did we get? Um, so we got, we got so we got four hundred and forty leads um, qualified. And actually, to be fair, we that was that's only on one page. There was actually two pages that we that we did this over. So that's only on one page. Um, the last one had the same amount of results as well. So eight hundred and eighty leads. Um, total qualified, but I could just pull data off one page because I hadn't actually set the tags up correctly on the other one, mate. So apologies for that. That's all right. Um, so we had a 19% conversion over a 10 step funnel, which is fantastic. And this is the share bit. So, so we're now going to say to people after they've had a positive experience, um, do you know, or, or who do you know could benefit from having a casual chat with us as well? Um, and you know, we're asking people if they, if they could, if they're going to share it. Um, so in this, in this initial phase, 4% uh, of them said yes. So we tweaked a couple of things, um, and optimized it a little bit. Then we got 8% of people to share it and tweaking things a little bit more. Uh, we actually managed to get 20 or 19% of everybody that came through everybody that qualified, sorry, to share this with a friend. So, you know, there's there's an old saying that goes birds of a feather flock together which means people who are in one situation are usually friends with people who are in the same situation therefore they're in the prime position to share it and and, and we should do that because at the end listen the product is good yeah the, product, the product's good you should you should share it with people so um over a thousand leads if 19 percent share you're going to get a hundred that's 190 opt-ins at an 87 percent click-through rate that's 165 um people that stick and then we convert 19% of the 165 that's 31 leads for free so that's over a thousand leads which is Dan what do you think about that all right it's great I mean I'm just thinking my mind's just ticking over at the moment thinking about how we can do this for some a new yeah. industry that we're in where we're getting paid 100 pounds a lead yeah um, so well, you know even if you, if you get I mean that's what do you got there is that three percent um, I, three, yeah, it's about yeah, three, yeah, three percent. So three percent free leads is uh, mm -hmm. at, at a hundred pound a lead is is serious money. So it's a no brainer, really. And we you can, we don't do that. No, no. I mean, and this is also something that you you cannot do in many chat. This is um, a technique that that I actually teach in the video training, which I'm going to give to the guys at the end here on how to actually form this 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 share pattern because you you can't do this inside many chat unless you have specific knowledge i guess so um it's a bit of a workaround a little bit of a hack but it's, it's totally legal totally works there's no there's no problems with it um so so if you did that over five thousand leads you're going to get 150 set so someone like matt for, i know matt generates loads of leads so over five thousand leads if you get 157 leads for free 
at forty-five pound a lead, which is what a number a number I see a lot of people throwing around. That's seven grand for free just by attaching this little step here, and that's something that you can't do through email marketing, for example. Um, and uh, the you know, listen, the 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 best type of marketing is referral marketing. How many times have, you know is your is your toilet blocked up or you've had a problem in the house, and you use a builder who your friend recommends. That's, am I right? Am I wrong? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to show you everyone here quickly how this share facility actually works. So this is the, this is the end of the last flow. And then what happens at the end here says, Hey, Gareth, before you go, um, Oh, sorry. Just scrolling up there. Uh, before you go, would you share this with somebody? Ah, so I'm just showing you more logo so we can have as many. Would you share this with somebody who could benefit from our services? Yes. Great, you're a true friend, Gareth. So this is the card. So we're going to give them. We're going to give them the card to share. We're going to give them instructions on how to share. Super, this is super super important. And then um, this is how it will come across. So because I sent this, it will say kind regards Gareth. But when Dan gets it, it will say kind regards Gareth. But if Dan sent it to me, it will say kind regards Dan. So whoever's sending it, that's that's where it will come from. So the user's then going to click this this share icon up here. Um, following these instructions, sorry, I might have might pause the pause the video here. It is it is playing, guys. Give me two seconds. So there we go. So I'm going to share that with somebody. I'm going to now go into the chat that I shared it in, and where that fingerprint is. So it says tap here to find your perfect investment. I just booked a call with these guys. Take a look. Kind regards, Gareth. The fingerprint prompts people to click on it. So when you do click on it, what happens is, boom, there you go. Back in the same flow, you actually get a message to say you've entered. You've entered this conversation by following um, a card that someone shared with you. Uh, hey, Gareth, your friend shared this with you. They've just booked an appointment with us. We help people find a better performing assets. Um, do you want to see if we can do this for you too? And that is literally it. That's literally it. And then when I click yes, that's just going to launch me. Or maybe I didn't. Oh, yeah. That's going to launch me into the same flow that my friend just went through. Make sense? Yeah. That's ninja. Ninja stuff. I love the the um, the uh, fingerprint thing. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I've it's honestly, I, I know some real pros in many chat and I don't see anybody doing that. So I'm going to, and I'm going to show everyone how to do, well. I'm not going to show everyone, but people, people who want the offer that, that is all in there as well. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to skip this one, Dan, cause we're, we're just going a little bit over on the time. Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah. Um, I, I'll just do one. I'll do one. Is that all right? You can't resist. Okay. Go. So, um, I'm going to have to just stop sharing the screen here and share a new screen with you guys. One moment. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, cool. Can people see my yep. screen? Yep. Um, I'm just going to move this off the side here and I'm going to, I would just, just save. So I'm going to click this link. Uh, I'm going to click this link here. That's opened a new tab in messenger. So I've clicked the link, opened a new tab. Um, ah, oh, apologies. That's actually, that's actually gone to the, <laughs> that's actually gone to the wrong flow. All right, no worries, no worries. That, oh, here we go. There you go. All right, we got there in the end. We got there in the end. So um, this is a check. So we can we can create personalized images, essentially. So on the follow-up, uh, this is a, a follow-up that I, that I did for a client. Um, when they're followed up, the, the total value that they might be leaving on the table from the job that they've, we've put to them um, is is this so it's got their name on it so this is my name on facebook that's got my name on it um ha sorry this hasn't actually got my date on it's actually gone to the wrong flow i really apologize for that guys let me that's all right we get the theory behind it yeah. it's all good you can basically send personalized images with people's names on it um you know in the yes. correct, like that's 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 really cool it just you know catches people off guard and it just gives the user a, a great experience um I'm sure, uh, I'll, if, if anyone wants to see that later i'll um i'll show a little bit more on that but there we go. I hope, I hope everyone gets the idea. So, okay. So these, these are some results from, from uh, actually your ads here, Dan. So we, we had a, so out of everybody that clicked, we had 47% of people opt in. So that's nearly, that's nearly 50% of all clicks opted in a typical cost per conversation started of 66 pence. Um, so that's, so that's, that's crazy. Yeah. A conversation so, so it costs 66 pence to That's less than our normal cost per click. So I don't know how you did that. That's cool. You get rewarded by Facebook for using these, using these features. Also, if your funnel's good, Facebook will reward you, as you know. Yeah. So, um, 
yeah so 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 yeah so that's a, a great cost per click there that that is typical for the funnels that i build um by the way so so as dan said earlier uh, on the particular campaign we had a cost per lead of three dollars or three pounds um the value per lead was 35 pounds and you know dan explained a little bit on that earlier but the rough profit um on on a lead which would uh, be a value of 35 pounds was a thousand percent profit so just let let that sink in there guys um this is one from a from another campaign here so just to show you that the cost the cost per new messaging conversation is is typical so if you look in figure two and you look at the cost per new messaging uh, connection in the in the red box 39 cents per messaging conversation started i've actually got people into bots before for uh, 15 cents so cheap right <laughs> Yep. Um, Amazing. Cool. Um, and, and no one, no one be using this in paper lead, right? Maybe you're the only many chat person in pay, that's I, doing I, paper lead. Yeah, I don't see any anybody using this in paper lead, and and, and the users enjoy going through it. It's fun. Yep. You know what I mean? So, and and this is just just showing you guys that. So, item three here shows everybody that this this is these results are typical. Um, you know, I've qualified people over twenty questions before. Um, and we've, we've got all this information here. So we've got like name, phone number, the residential status, their house value, their employment status. Um, you know, again, name, phone number, name, phone number, email, name, phone number, email, time they completed the leak. Like, this is typical guys. This isn't, this isn't just a one-off thing. This, this happens like this is, this is the, this is the thing. Yep. Cool. So this is what you wanted to know more about. This is the advanced lead flow. So it's very, very much the same as before. We're just qualifying people following up if they don't convert. If they do convert, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to book them into a calendar. So the question I have for everybody really is how, how much more valuable is a lead or how much more could you charge for a lead that's booked into a calendar that is not saying, oh yeah, just call me at this time. They're booked in the calendar. There's they get reminders up until the event. So you can see we're collecting the phone. So in the bottom, the bottom here where the yellow, where the yellow square is collecting the phone and email. We're then going to open the appointment booking software, which is Calendly. We're going yep. to choose the time, uh, book the book the client into the client's calendar. Sorry, book the customer into the client's calendar and the client into the customer's calendar. So both email notification to client and lead. Send the data to Google Sheets. They're then going to share it with a friend. They're also going to get a three-day reminder coming up to the appointment. They're going to get a 24-hour reminder coming up to the appointment. They're going to get an hour reminder up to the appointment, even 10 minutes up to the appointment. This increases show, show up um, stats massively just because a lot of the time people are engaged, but they forget. Yeah. So if we're giving them follow-up in text, email, and messenger, like you're going to show. So this yeah. is integration using many chat google sheets calendly and obviously google calendar so for my client my immigration client this is what happened for her we had 671 abandoned bookings uh again six and a half percent saved on the follow-ups that was an extra 44 leads she typically converts at 50 percent um which amounted to 55 grand extra revenue uh and these leads that are booked into the calendar guys they're especially in this niche 150 quid 200 yeah. 200 to go booked um just so just so you guys can see that that's yep. that's the slide that i showed you earlier um just with all the people that abandoned bookings in the top there it's 671 and all of the people that we managed to recover um there's 44 so so that's that's that is that is that all clear yeah, it is. Um, and selling appointments is kind of the, the ultimate. If you can do that, it's a, people would prefer to pay for appointments rather than leads even. So if you've cracked that, then uh, I need to talk to you a bit more because it's still uh, yeah. <laughs> very difficult to do and especially getting them to turn up to their appointments as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, Be Becky's just asked if there's going to be a recording. I think a few people have asked that as well. And yeah, there will be. We'll probably send it out tomorrow or the next day. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm sorry, I know I'm going over a little bit here. Um, it's, <laughs> there's just so much... So much great stuff there. I'm just going to quickly show how this how this would work. Um, is that all right? Yep. Cool. Uh, so we've got email, we've got the phone number, and just so you guys. Oh, sorry. By the way, I should probably say this is a this is a Zapier integration. So this this flow requires a, a twelve pound a month upgrade to Calendly and a twenty pound a month upgrade to Zapier. Um, so so we've got e name, email, phone number. They're now going to be given the option to book now. So if we hit book now. This, and to create this integration, guys, this is what this is what man. So cool. So we're gonna we've opened the booking software. 
I select the time, confirm the time. All the, all the information here, guys, this is the best bit. This is the bit that people can't do. All the information is pre-populated. They do not have to fill this in again. This is pre-populated. We've even got the text reminder pre-populated in there. So no friction is what I'm trying to say to you guys. Like this is seamless. Um, schedule the event, confirmed. Bang, back over to Messenger. That's, I didn't close that window, by the way. That, that came back over to Messenger. That's all automated. Love hearts on the screen. Confirmation. So again, love hearts just to um, you know, give a good, a good user experience, etc. I've got an email up the top there to say um, uh, a new event's been scheduled with me. Um, this is my reminder as a, as, a, as a client. So your appointment scheduled for da -da 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 -da, GMT. Uh, by the way, sorry, I've, I've put GMT in there. We, we can transfer this time zones as well. So if I booked it 1 p.m. my time, it will show uh, 2 p.m. in the client's calendar if they're an hour in front. So that's, that's all seamlessly done. You're going to get reminded 24 hours before, an hour before. They can even change or cancel the appointment inside Messenger. Like this is, you know, so if people do want to change, if people do want to change the appointment, they're not going to, oh yeah, by the way, huh, if people need to come to your office, ah, oh, just showing the, uh, showing the change and the cancel here. There you go. So that's, a, that's what a cancel event will look like. If people need to come to a location, you can send a map like this, which will open in Google Maps um, and show them exactly, one minute it will show, show them exactly how far the travel time is to where they need to go. Like, you know what I mean? Yep. Very cool. Yeah, very cool. Um, cool. So just very, very quickly, um, how, how do you get into the bot? So obviously, obviously through Facebook, and Instagram ads, um, they're just attached. There's a, there's, a, there's a way that you attach them that not many people know about. Most people use a JSON code because that's what many chat provides. But I've got a very, very simple way of sending people into ads, uh, which is reliable. JSON code is unreliable, guys. If you are going to do this, don't use JSON code. I can show you how to do it properly. Quick question, mate. I've just seen, and I'm interested in this as well. Yeah. Christopher Throwers asked, um, yeah. do you run any real-time validation on contact details, i.e., yeah. can you verify the phone yeah. numbers and the emails yeah. and all that type of yeah. stuff? Yeah, yeah, you can. You can. We can do that. Um, we just have to plug into a different bit of software. So whatever software validates that, um, yeah. we'll just send it to ManyChat. Sorry, we'll send it from ManyChat to the software and say, is this a real number? It will yeah. say yes or no, and yeah. then we'll send back okay, cool, we're good to go, or sorry, that's an incorrect number, please go again. So yep. yeah. Can be done, sweet. Can be done, can be done. So from comments as well. So, uh, so this is one that I'm prepping for a client now. How much is your energy bill? When they drop a comment in here, it's going gonna, it's gonna to say, cool, how much is your energy bill? And they're going to say, whatever it is, uh, we can then send back the number that we can save in a personalized image. So they say it's 100 quid a month. We'll then send back a report with their name on it, timestamp, and these were the questions you said, and this is how much we can save you. So we can do maths inside the bots as well uh, from an email. So you can get in using the URL link. So down here, <laughs> I've used the um, I've used the, the, this this URL link that says click for big check. And so if, if the, the person receiving this email clicked on that, they would then go into the bot. So you can send them through. If you have a large email list, send out a URL link. Boom, you've got them in your email. You've got them in your bot as well. Um, QR codes. This is really good. I use this one for events and uh, I've got a hypnotist client. So he puts these all around the town and people like, you have to scan that. If you see a, a, a poster that says scan here to unlock the secret, like at some point you're going to, you're going to scan that. Right. Um, nice. so, so this is from a, from a landing page actually. So you could send it to messenger, confirm the opt-in. So a little checkbox on your website, if you want to do that direct message to the page. So if somebody, if somebody messages your page, Boom, they're in your bot. So anytime anyone interacts with your bot, they're added to your list unless they unsubscribe. So it's very, yeah. very easy to build a big list. And then finally, they, it can go on the website. I don't know how good that would be for everybody here, but it can go on the website. So if anybody engages in the customer chat, um, even if they say, hi, um, can anybody help me in your list? Boom. Nice. I'm um, just looking at that photo of me up there. In the middle it's but, funny story like i was telling my videographer at the time that um it has to be above the waist because i was middle of summer and i was like wearing shorts and flip-flops yeah. i wanted to look professional and then the video came out for our youtube ads and he's got me in shorts and flip-flops with a nice shirt on i'm like what well the? i'm sorry if i promoted that mate <laughs> <laughs> no, no 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 it's our fault but it's um a funny story <laughs> no that's what i just want to clarify a couple of things here so anyone who's into e-com or anything like that those qr codes 
you can you can send them in uh, in packages. Scan it. So, so scan scan this code to see a demo video on how to use the product. Um, anyone who uses URL links who's interested in that, you can use Bitly links or Owly links. Uh, it will still work the same. So I just kind of wanted to drop that. I just wanted to drop this one in here for everybody really, really quickly as well. I know we were over a little bit here, but um, anyone interested in abandoned carts, um, this works really, really well for Ecom too. So this is actually, I'd love to say this is, this is um, something that my girlfriend did or I took it from her phone, but this is actually from my phone. So I saw an ad on Facebook, went over to the shop. So it was, it was for uh, those black uh, exfoliating peel off masks. And uh, so you like kind of put it on and then, and then peel it off. And I, and I went on it. I was about to check out and I thought, oh, no, 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 I don't know about that, I don't know about that. So I left. And then an hour later, I got this message, which says, hey, gorgeous, thanks for stopping by. Come back and complete your checkout. We know you'll be our next happy customer. And then it pulls in the product that I was looking at. And I did actually check out. And um, nice. they even upsold me onto something else. So that's really good for e if anyone wants to speak to me about that afterwards. Um, you buy a deep cleansing black mask for yourself, mate? Sorry, mate? Did you buy a deep cleansing black mask? I, I did, I did, I did. <laughs> I didn't that's, know yeah, that's what I was saying. I wish I could say that was a screenshot from my girlfriend's phone. But exactly <laughs> <laughs> and right. you know what? They, they even upsold me onto the gold mask as well. And I, and, and I still haven't used it. They're both still upstairs. But, uh, but they got my money anyway. So that's, oh, my goodness. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, so, so uh, Mar Michael's asking, um, oh, sorry, sorry, Bart's first asking, have you used uh, an IVR to direct leads to proper zip codes from a chatbot phone leads using IVR in chatbot comments? Don't know. That sounds... I think I think I think he's he's trying to like what he wants to do, and then we can talk about this in the Q and A in more detail if he wants. But um, he's trying to validate zip codes. The answer is yes, we can do that. Okay, cool. And uh, Michael's asking immigration lawyers: that, Is there enough audience in the US and Facebook for immigration lawyers? Michael, mate, it's it's a huge audience, and um, you know if you do a hundred leads a day in America, for example, and I don't know, what are they, 50 bucks a day or 50 bucks a lead or something like that, Gareth, maybe more. You know, 100, 100 a day times seven days a week is 700 times 2,800 a month times 12 is what, maybe 30,000. There's probably more people, more people entering the country than those numbers. So yeah. it's self, self-fulfilling type uh, offer. Yeah. So it's, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. Plenty, plenty, even at 100 leads a day, there's yep. probably room for 20 people doing that, 30 people doing that. Yep, yep, yep. But by the way, guys, at the end, I'm going to be, I'm going to be dropping like my email in there and my, my Facebook and my LinkedIn. So if anyone wants to add me on that and have a chat in more detail, then we can definitely do that. Um, Michael, if you want to talk more about immigration, that's something I'm massively into. So uh, we could, you know, there's, there's, there's opportunities though, is what I'm saying. Um, uh, essentially, so, so this is something that me and my team did um, for a company called uh, Fairy Freshness, who actually just do uh, pet, pet shampoos and conditioners. Using this abandoned cart technique, so the same one you see on the left there, we managed to recover $11,000 in 16 days from Messenger. Wow. Uh, they were just using email before. So we, we've got them on some Messenger, excuse me, saved 11 grand. In seven, and we, so on the first message, we saved seven grand. Second message, we saved two grand. On the third message, we saved uh, $1,300. But essentially, this, this, is, this is really, really powerful for anyone who's interested in e-com as well. So we can have a further chat about that. Um, cool. Video ads. So I've, I've, had, I've had great success using video ads. Um, there's just a couple of reasons why I use them. We're constantly building an audience. Anyone, you know, anyone who knows about Facebook ads, you can retarget people based on the amount they viewed. Um, you can retarget based on the, the, the how intent what, what intention uh, they have. So if they watched hundred percent of the video and they still haven't followed through, you know, that's a hot lead to follow up with those guys. Um, Facebook rewards videos. Um, they, they are, I don't know if anybody knows, but they're in massive competition with YouTube for kind of like the, um, the video territory, if you like, it's such a massive thing at the moment. Um, we can easily build the what I call KLT, which is no like and trust factor. Because if you can see me, hear me, and understand me, and 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 look at me in my eyes, how much easier is it to build a relationship with me than you know just through some text or an image or something like that? Uh, there's no character restriction. Uh, we can include audio and and uh, we can evoke emotion, and I'll have a simple sum that goes action plus sorry emotion plus action um, equals purchase. In other words, E plus A equals pounds squared. Um, 
So yeah, you can you can connect with the target audience better. You can show someone instead of telling them. So this is all reasons why I use video ads, guys. There's no call to action restriction. I can I can ask people to take action as many times as I want. They're very easy to create. They're fun to create as well. And just on the right here, guys, so this is something I'm going to be giving, giving everybody, um, if, if anyone chooses to take my offer up at the end. This is a, a plethora of information here. So th this chart, this wheel down here is showing everybody um, all of the questions most asked to Google about the, the uh, keyword in the middle there, which is life insurance. So this is actually what I use to, to um, build my life insurance campaigns. And from most green up, at the top all the way to least green at the bottom these are the things that people are asking google about your product this is what people need to know so if you're gonna if you're gonna create valuable content for people these are the things you want to talk about and i'm going to show everyone if they decide to take me off from offer where to get this information from and you get about 10 wheels like this you have an untold amount of information so I was actually lucky enough to have a, a 30 minute conversation with Frank Kern last year on the phone. I don't know if anybody knows who he is. Dan knows who he is, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, a legend. Yeah, a bit of a legend. Yeah. First man to do a million dollars online in 24 hours. So I've got three pointers here for you guys. Um, and, this is, and this is something that Frank helped me, helped me come up with. So uh, first we need to ask questions to qualify. We then need to highlight the problem and then demonstrate the solution. It's called, Frank calls it, the old demonstrate you can help them by actually helping them trick. Um, so, I, and I, I actually, I actually use, I, so, so we developed, uh, so these, these are just some of my, some of my video ads. I'm not going to, this is important. You know, so turn the it's, sound not, on. it's not anything it's mad, but it's just me. Like this is just, if you've had motocross, this is just me in front of my house talking about question. my life insurance policy. And you know, if you injured yourself, how, how, how good it is for people. Could oh. you pay oh. the bills? I can't stop this. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Next slide. Well, um, you because I cool. So, so I, I sold two, over 200 life insurance policies here. Wow. Uh, using these videos here. That's, uh, that, that's, not, that's not the amount of leads generated. That's the amount of policies sold. Uh, the amount of leads generated was um, around four times that. Um, so so I, I use an eight step process to build the perfect script to basically do everything that I showed you above in the correct order, including all the right information and a fill in the blank script, which, which converts for me every, well I say convert, it does convert. It's really good for me every time I use it all the time. And it's something I'm going to be giving away at the end if anybody, anybody chooses to take me up from offer. Right, coming to the end here. Um, so why, why should you build a list? Why, why is it great to build a list? So obviously everybody knows Open rates, 80%. Typical click-through rate, 60%. We can send a broadcast message directly into your customer's inbox. So, so they'll get a message like, that's like this, and it will say sponsored because we, you know, we have to let people know it's a sponsored message, but you know, don't let that get you down. It does, it still converts. Like people, if the offer's relevant to these people, they'll, you know, they'll, they'll buy it. So even, even if you're using a bot or lead gen for your client, as long as you own the list, you can still promote to these people and you have, and you have information on them. So typically this is how it would look 5,000 subs for around 40 pence each. It will cost you two grand to get 5,000 subs. Um, a broadcast message will cost about 0 0.03 pence per message sent. So super, super low. Um, that's 150 pound to reach all 5,000 people. 4,000 people are going to open that. 2,400 people are going to click on that. If you convert at 10%, again, you know, you, you might convert more if your offer is really good and you know your audience well, you might convert less. But if you convert at 10%, which is kind of baseline, I find, um, at £30 per sale, which isn't a high ticket product, that could be, I don't know, a mug set or whatever it may be, whatever your audience is. Interested. Mike, I've just seen that Mike wants to leave and he's asking for the link. Um, Mike, we'll, we've got a... Um, I can email we'll, we'll, Yeah, we'll... we'll uh, we're, we're putting out this replay anyway, so you will, you'll get an email from me and you'll be able to look at it then. I'm, I'm pretty sure this offer is going to be open for a few days, so don't worry, you're not going to miss it. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure it's going to be open for a few, for, for a few days. It's, it, it's, it's, mate, oh. But, but okay. listen, we'll see. If, anyway. listen, if Michael wants it, we'll send him the link. Okay. Um, cool. So, so at £30 a sale, on a typical conversion rate, typical open rate, you're going to gross £7,200. Minus your costs. Um, five grand profit on the second month, 
is £7,200 profit because you don't have to pay to acquire the list. You've already got the list. And wow. you can really, really do this if you build the list and just send an offer out. Like HubSpot said, 86% of people want to hear from you if they, you know, if they like it. They want it. So don't be shy of building the list and hitting the list. Don't be shy. Cool. So I'm going to move on to the offer now, Dan. Is that all right? Yep. Cool. Just, so just to reiterate, guys, for you that, that have turned up late, I've sent hundreds of emails to my list and I've done many webinars and I've never promoted anyone's product ever. So Oops. this is the first time and maybe maybe one of the last times as well. So um, don't take this lightly. It's that good an offer. You guys should not miss it. I'm not going to say that again um, because, you know, he's crazy to be offering this to you guys. And that's from the bottom of my heart. And uh, you should you should uh, take advantage. Anyway, that's enough of me talking. Go. Yeah, no, no, that's just just to reiterate that that is that is very true. We did have a discussion about this, but um, um this this is like I, I wanted to provide something for everybody that is not just a cheesy sale because I'm 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 really not into that kind of stuff, but something anybody anybody who who is into chatbots or, or whatever it may be, I want to give everybody something of like insane. Dan said to me, if you're gonna offer something, you have to make it irresistible. And that's, that's exactly what I've done. So I, I just want to, uh, I might have to just stop sharing the screen for a second, reshare it. Sorry, mate. Yep. Um, cool. Can everyone see? Dan, can you see? Yep, you're on. Cool. Who is my offer for page? Cool, yeah. So, so who is this offer for? So any, anyone who wants to generate leads fast, anyone who wants to book solid appointments into calendars, anyone who doesn't want to get caught up in building landing pages, anyone who wants to automate... Um, uh, automate follow up for free. Anyone who's tired of 20% or less than 20% open rates on email. Get a cheap, anyone who wants a cheaper cost per thousand. Anyone who wants a better quality score on ads. Anyone who's thinking about bots or wants to expand their knowledge. Anyone who wants step by step training. Anyone who wants a professional team, more to the point, me and my team to handle a setup for you. Anyone who wants to start bots but not sure about the strategy. I'm going to show you all of that. Anyone who wants to build a list at the same time, if you want to reduce drop-off rates with a fun user experience, if you want to automate the lead fulfillment process, if you want to automate payment, if you want to get leads for free by sharing with people at 20% per, per user that comes in, we'll share your stuff. If you want to reach an audience on a new platform that isn't saturated, and anyone who wants to make killer video ads, this is the offer that I have for you. So there's, there's two packages here. Um, <laughs> sounds crazy. Dan, when I'm looking at this, but the starter package, so it's 125 US dollars and that's 97 pounds in English. You're going to get the, the lead template that worked for Dan. Um, you're going to get my, my 11 tool toolkit called the toolkit of pro, uh, the, the pro toolkit of cool shit. You're going to get a fill in the blanks, perfect video script. You're going to get how to make killer video ads, cheat sheets. So you're literally just copying the ads that are working for me. Uh, all the video trainings you're going to get in the basic package, the tour of your template. So you're going to know exactly what, what's where and why it works. You're going to get access to my video ads. So if you choose to make video ads of yourself, you can look at mine and just, and just, you know, kind of copy mine or whatever it does. I'm going to show you how to reliably set up uh, bot ads that convert. Um, there's a very specific way of doing that training for that. I'm going to show you how to connect your bot to Google sheets. Um, so that's the bait. So the starter package, that's everything that worked for Dan in the pro package. And this is the thing that I'd, I'm not sure if I want to do this after, um, after this webinar, cause it, I can't drain the resources from my team. This too much. Yeah. You know, I don't want to, Dan, I, I said, I wouldn't say it, but I kind of feel like I have to, to, to give the, the, um, perspective on this, uh, this setup usually goes for 1500 quid, um, easily. And I'm only, I'm only giving it because Dan said to me, if you are going to offer something, make it irresistible. So this is really it for you. So you're going to get the basic lead gen template that worked for Dan. You're going to get the pro lead gen template, which books people into the calendar. You're going to get my pro toolkit of cool shit. You're going to get the fill in the blanks video script. You're going to get how to make a killer video ad. Um, you're going to get a tour of both of the templates. So the basic one, and the pro one, and they will work together. So if you only want to collect time or date and you don't want to put people in the calendar, or you want to have the option of doing that, you can do that. You're going to get access to my video ads, 
how to reliably set up bot ads that convert. Again, like I said, very specific way, how to connect people to, uh, to connect the bot to Google Sheets to send and even pull information from there. How to connect your bot to comments, how to create the many chat share card. These are all video trainers, how to create uh, personalized dynamic images. And this is the best bit. This is the bit that I'm not sure if I want to give away um, any, any, any longer than this, this goes on for. You're going to get a 30 minute strategy call with me plus aftercare uh, once you're all set up to show you how it, how it works. And th this is the bit. We will set all of this up for you. Me and my team will set up the, the, the advanced booking flow and the, uh, the basic lead gen flow. Uh, we're going to attach it to your Calendly or your client's Calendly. We're going to attach it to your Zapier account and we're going to um, do the flow setup and everything for you. So literally, me and my team are going to, you say to me, I've got this pro template, put this and this in it, set it up for me, get it functional, show me how it works. That's what you're going to get. That's 597 pounds, 775 US dollars. Um, I, don't, I, can't, I can't say any more than that, Dan. That's, that's me done. I'll tell you, can I, can I just show people the, 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 um, the, uh, the PDF? Um, well, let's, let's, um, I mean, are you going to drop a link? How, how does it work? Yeah, yeah. So, oh, sorry, sorry. Because we've got the Q&A to come and I've got to run in a minute, mate. So no, we've, got to, we've got to run. Okay. Cool. So, so what I'm going to do now, if, if anybody wants to take me up on offer, I'm going to drop the, a link in the webinar chat. If you click it, it's going to open in Messenger. You're going to be able to choose from the packages that I've spoken about. And if you click invest now, it, you can pay inside of Messenger uh, through Stripe. So that's all super secure. You're going to get your templates, your PDFs, and your training will sent in Messenger. If you get the pro package, you'll be given access to the video separately. Um, and any pro package video buyers will, will get a link to book a strategy call with myself. So if I just drop that in the chat, Dan. Yep, uh, go for it. How do I, so I just drop it in the main chat. Uh, you'll need to go to all panelists and attendees and drop it in the chat there. Yep. That's the yep. link, guys. If anyone wants to take me on it, click it. If you don't want to, then, then you don't have to. But oh, Matt's saying it's super cheap. It's a no-brainer. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate that. <laughs> cool. Uh, I'll, I'll put it in there as well because I might have, you might have just done panelists. But there we go. Oh, sorry. I did, I did do all panelists. Oh, there you go. <laughs> cool. So, so that's going to open up a chat. That's yeah. pretty cool. So, that, that will, so everything will be del delivered to you inside of Messenger. Nice. Everything Good stuff, mate. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's so. So that's it. So um, Q and A. Q and A's. Yeah. So um, oh, sorry. Uh, just quickly, um, if anyone wants to connect with me, if you want to take a screenshot, you know, please, please go for it. Um, this is my LinkedIn. This is my Facebook. My name on Facebook is Gareth Ford. I can't change it. Sorry. <laughs> you can hit me up on the email Gareth at straightforward hyphen digital dot co uk, or you can, you can. Um, uh, hit, go, go to the website. So Eclectic Motion is a company that I consult for full time. Um, so, so, so you can see me there and hit me up there, but the link's in there guys. So if you, if you want to give it a shot, you know, please go for it. Nice. And any of my clients are listening to this phone call, I'm giving a list of all of my clients to Gareth and he's going to be excluded from working from you guys just to let you know, just in case Good. you want to, uh, Good, Dan. can you say that one more time? I'm just saying that I'm going to send a list of all of my clients that yes. we're currently supplying leads to. Yes. And I'm going to exclude them from working with you because you're going to be too good and you're going to um, undercut me just so, uh, <laughs> just so I, let you, yeah, I just want to let them know if they're listening to this recording. Gareth's yeah. not going to be working with you, put it that way. <laughs> I'm, I'm, Dan, to be honest with you, you've, you've given me a massive leg up in a lot of stuff, uh, especially in the, in the lead gen um, scenario. So, um, okay. yeah. Well, well I, worth it, mate. You're obviously bringing value here to everyone. So... Yeah, that's that's the main thing. That's the main the main thing is to just build the value. So, yep. Q and A time. Let's. Uh, you guys got questions? Matt's just bought. Nice one. Who's got oh, questions? Has anyone? Oh, do I have to pull up the, the question screen here? No, they'll. Um, people will just start asking in the chat box. Yeah, um, that's cool. So we've got Eric that's buying now. That's good. Oh, Eric, thanks, mate. Isn't any anybody who is buying? I I can see it. So very much appreciated like i yeah thanks guys like i really really appreciate this this is my first webinar by the way so I oh, mate, you've done well we just need to make sure that we tell them how long it's going to be available for like that we'll yeah. probably put the link up for what one day or something like that well, or? well um anybody who clicks on the link now will be able to buy it for two days 
Okay. Um, I don't really want to leave the link up because I just can't. I can't drain my team. It's mad. It honestly is mad. I can't drain my team of all those resources. It's just yeah. It's just it. Like I said, it, honestly, that's a fifteen hundred quid setup there. Um, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Cool. 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 There we go. There we go. All right. Cool. So the recording will be available probably tomorrow or the next day, Pete. Um, yeah. Thanks, but, Dale. Okay. So. Um, yeah, someone's saying how to record without pitching pitching manifesto. Yeah, Petra, it's not a big part of what I do. I'm not interested in pitching and making mm. all that type of stuff. I just want to give value. So I wouldn't yeah. be, uh, I, I'm not going to waste my time with stuff like that. So, yeah. um, all right. So what questions do we got, Darren? Um, how do you Facebook pixel and optimize for conversions without using the landing page growth tool? Uh, sorry, one, one, one moment. So, sorry, someone's just said, "Can I pay in pounds?" Uh, Preeti, yes, you, you can pay in pounds. Um, it will take. It will show the payment in dollars, but it will take it in pounds. Um, so, so yeah. Sorry, mate. Uh, what was the question? How do you Facebook pixel and optimize for conversions without using the landing page growth tool? How do we use the Facebook pixel and optimize for conversions without using the landing page growth tool? I don't know what the growth tool is, but you know, yeah. with us, you, you just, you can fire an event on a, on a lead, right? Like, a, like a, if it was a lead on a thank you page, it's the same kind of thing I imagine, Darren. Yeah. Um, yeah, basically. Yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't use, I don't use um, URLs for, uh, for, for sorry, leads. I, it's all done within messenger. Yeah. So they literally, so, so the setup for me is uh, click to messenger ad. So they'll click, so they'll click from the ad into messenger and that's it. Yeah. That's yeah. It, yeah. Cool. Can you do calculations with ManyChat? Yes, you can do calculations with ManyChat. So my client that I was showing you the comments for, um, what, what they do is, so they, they're, uh, they're in the energy space and they save, they can save about 45% on a bill. So, so someone will drop a, um, or drop a, what do you call it? Drop a comment. So the, the so the image will be, um, sorry, I'm just uh, doing a couple of things here. The image will be, how much is your bill? The, yeah question or tell us how much your bill is type it in the comments they type it in the comments and then um the the image will pop up sorry the, the bot stop watching your sales mate focus on the <laughs> <comments>. <laughs> yeah. sorry okay let me start from the beginning yeah. so um yes you can you can do it so for my client what we're doing is um an image to provoke a comment yep the bot will then ask how much is your bill it will say okay no worries i'm doing your report now it would take take that um the amount that they said yep 45 percent off it and send them back the amount we can save it so in short yes you can do maths you can do uh you can do uh, some pretty cool stuff i imagine minuses, minuses divides i'm not the best at maths i don't know if anyone's clocked that <laughs> yet, but, um, i'm sure you can do some really cool stuff in there just kind of like lead talk it's all just clever programming i imagine yeah the bot, um, the bot can do it the bot can do it <laughs> James, um, you can show a summary of what's in the pro toolkit. I think we did that screenshot, but if you want to reach out to Gareth, you've got his uh, email address and you can connect with him on LinkedIn or whatever. I, I um, we don't have time to do, we don't have time to do that now. No, that's right. Uh, that's right. Yeah. James, if you want to, if you want to reach out to me on Facebook or, in, uh, or LinkedIn or email, I'll just put my, put my email in there. Um, good question from Jay. Do you run conversion ads to start the conversation or do you run messenger ads or clicks? What's the best thing? Uh, it varies from time to time. Um, if I'm doing lead gen, I always do conversion. I've tested, um, there's a couple of different things you can do, which is uh, you can do traffic as an objective. You can use messages as an objective um, or conversions as an objective. For me, if I'm doing lead gen, conversions is always the winner. Of course, that's always the same with us as well. Yeah. Like if you're looking for leads, Facebook's gonna give you leads. If you're looking for people starting a messenger conversation, they're gonna give you that. So optimize for what, is, what you want really. Like that's always my answer. Daniel, how, how will you be impacted by the 4th of March messenger changes? Cool, um, so 4th for, for, of March messenger changes, to be honest with you guys, like, that so there's there's a couple of things that change in there. All that all that means is you cannot provide you cannot sell you after the 24 hour window is closed. So somebody's message the page, if 24 hours goes past without them re-engaging with you, uh, you can only contact them by email uh, to get them to re-engage or text to get them to re-engage. Yeah. 
you cannot send them promotional content outside of the 24 hours unless it's unless they're engaged. Un, well, no, no, no. If it's outside the 24 hours, you can send them, um, you can send them stuff, but it's a uh, confirmed event reminder, an account update, um, a live agent intervention, and there's one other. So it's basically outside of 24 hours, you can't do it. All it means, guys, is you just need to make sure that your copy is strong. You need to make sure that you're giving value to your audience. Um, yeah. and, and, and that's it. You can get a lot done in 24 hours. You know, I'll, I'll give anyone listening, I'll give you a little tip right now. Um, if you're using follow up in many chat, all you, all you need to do is provide two answers. Yes. So you need to provide stop messages to unsubscribe. First answer is going to be yes. Second answer is going to be no. If they hit no, the window reopens. So, yeah. so it, by, by giving someone the option to say, I don't want this stuff. If they hit no, that you're going to reopen that conversation for your next follow up. And then if they hit no on the next one, you can do it again. So if that 24 hour window closes, you can't follow up with anything that's not, um, sorry, anything that is pro promotional, basically. Okay. All right, cool. So, I mean, like anything, especially in our paper lead verticals, um, you, usually you get the lead like straight away. Like the follow up isn't as important, but you know, with Messenger, it probably is. But most of the time, you're going to get the lead quickly anyway, so I wouldn't be too worried about that. Um, yeah. Eric, does your training cover how to set up the ad and cover the whole integration flow? Sorry, yeah, I think it yeah. does, right? Yeah, it does, it does, it does. So the trainings, the trainings include how to... I'll just go back on the slide there. Shall I just go back on the slide? Let's, let's, no, we, we've got to go quick, mate, because there's lots of questions. Yep, so, so Eric, it does. Like, you, you, everything you get... from set up, everything set up, connecting to Google Sheets, and pretty much anything you need to know is there. Um, if you get the pro, if you get the pro package, you know, I'm, I'll consult with you for 30 minutes anyway to show yep. you anything that you, that you can't do if you want to know. Nice. Um, how do you segment the leads to different clients? Cool. So, so all, all that is, is basically, firstly, you have, you have to understand that um, you have to understand what it is that the clients want. Um, so if one wants subprime leads and one wants like sort of premium leads, it's literally just a case of making a condition, which will understand uh, those, those things. The, the difference between the two. And then what you can do is, um, mm -hmm. Then you send the lead via Zapier to a district, some distribution software. You we use get cake or there's loads of others out there and yeah. then let the distribution software do the, do the split. You can probably split from within many chat as well. I imagine. You can split within many chat. Uh, yep. Clients <coughs> have access to the many chat. They couldn't change it. They would literally just be able to receive it. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Is there a replay? Eve? Yep. There'll be one in uh, probably tomorrow that will come out tomorrow or the next day. It'll be on our YouTube channel. Pete, uh, Pete, what's your ask? Is asking what your email is. Do you want to just type it in there, Gareth, in the chat I did, box? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just type you it. Just done that. Cool. I missed the webinar from the beginning. Um, yeah. Okay. Gareth, oh, there. You go. Gareth at straightforward, straightforward media. Sorry, digital. Co. Uh, that's right. That's right. I'll, I'll, I'm -E -T -H at S T R eight four W A R D hyphen digital. Co. Uk. We'll put it all in the links anyway. Um, yeah. Yeah. For someone who just started our own business, I would like to mention that I just defined touch point map for a client who's I'd like to attract. So that must be that wheel thing that you were talking about. Is it better to choose more obvious path to gain some leads um, or less obvious ones cheaper, but they need time to have some leads. That's your time and your consideration. Not sure with that. <laughs> there's, a, sure with there's, that. there's a lot there. There's a lot. There. I can listen. I can, I can, you know, answer that in an email with Peter. Yeah. If, I think that's maybe a better email. It needs a little bit of clarification there. Do you have an affiliate program where we could promote your course? You probably don't. You probably don't have a course. Are you, are you talking to? Course. No, I don't have a course. Like you know, these, these, this stuff's just going to be delivered inside messenger. Maybe I should do a course. <laughs> that, if you want to do a course, do Dan's course. <laughs> don't do yeah. my course. <laughs> Thanks mate. Pete, you might be talking to me as well. I'm not sure. And no, I don't have an affiliate program. Oh, sorry. Um, Gareth, oh, you put it in there. Neil, do you have a payment plan for the pro plan? I, do, I haven't got a payment plan, pro plan unless unless you have like PayPal credit or something like that. You, you know, if you want to pay on your own credit card, fine. But I don't have a payment plan. Sorry, guys. I, don't, I actually don't offer this. Like, I just want to make this clear to everybody who's here. Like, I didn't twist Dan's arm for this, but I, I wanted to put something value. Dan never promotes to his list. Like, he, he actually doesn't. I've been I've been on many a webinar with you, Dan, and yeah. you don't. It's like Dan's actually given me a bit of a bit of an opportunity here, and I've. I feel like I might have taken advantage of it a little bit. So, so, um, yeah, don't worry about it, mate. It's all good. Um, yeah, sorry, Dan's, Dan's so about Re Neil, yeah. re reach out to Gareth and you might be able to sort something out. 
Yeah. Peter, um, I would like to focus on slowly revolving high quality clients. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's not really a question, but um, yeah, sounds good to me, mate. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say no to that. Um, let's see if there's any Q and A's. Oh. Uh, uh, is there anything down here? How do you do the How, How's this comparing to your landing pages or leads hook conversions? Um, I mean, it's a different game really because you're not taking them off Facebook. But, um, you, you know, from what I can tell, you're getting cheaper leads via the messenger bots. And for me to say that we're pushing it as hard as the landing page and quiz funnels, that's a lie. Like, uh, it's not a lie. We're, we're, we're still experimenting with Messenger because it's like if it's not broke, t don't fix it type thing. So we're, we're kind of gradually um, introducing it to the agency uh, more and more. Uh, but uh, for now, what we've got is work, working pretty well for us via the quiz funnels and advertorial funnels and all that type of stuff. Um, Mark, is there a Facebook group to get support on this training? Um, there's no, there's no course or anything like that. Like Gareth is an agency and he hasn't got this. This is like a one-off offer for him for the time being. So I literally um, recorded this bit for, for your, for your guys, Dan. Like, this, I, don't, I don't do this. Like I don't record yeah. videos and like make PDFs. Like I literally made all of this for everybody here just for yep. Dan. Like, really, yep. that's specific. It's just for, for my, for this specific webinar. That's it. That's um, it. someone who wants just, Oh, Peter's asking kind of long questions. Um, yeah, sorry, mate. You're going to have to be a little bit more specific. Um, Mark's getting 50 cent leads in his horse niche. That's awesome. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's about it, guys. Um, unless anyone else has got any other questions. It's been... Uh, what sort of cost per calendar appointment are you getting? Profit per appointment? Do you know what? Like this is the maddest thing. Yeah. So for the, for the um, oh, it's it's almost embarrassing to say, but for the uh, for the immigration client, I'm booking calendar leads for less than two dollars. What? Yeah. Two dollars a calendar appointment. The niche is insane. Uh, it's okay. a very specific niche within inside the immigration. So I'll be I'll be surprised if anyone can find it. Yeah. Um, these, I'll give I'll give everyone a bit of a clue. These people are in dire need. If and this is the same. And Dan, I think I'm right by saying this. If you can find a niche, that, an offer that converts. An offer that converts is that yeah, it trumps creative. It, it it trumps anything. If you have an offer that converts and it makes everything easier. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. Literally. That's 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 it. Like you just need to find something that people need, not pe not what people want. Yep. Is that fair to say? Yep. Do you accept PayPal payments? I think we touched on that before. Why don't you email? Um, I, sorry, I can't pronounce Tetsy. Tetsy, uh, probably wrong, but um, yeah, email Gareth, and I'm sure he'll be able to sort you out with something. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. My 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 email. I'll just uh, I'll just put it back to that screen there. So if anyone wants to take my email, then oh yeah, good idea. Yeah, good is, idea. That, is that okay? Yep. Cool. All good. good. Yeah, so it's All right. Unless there's a, unless there's um anyone else, it's been epic, mate. Like. Um, you're definitely coming back down here in the next few weeks to give us a hand on some other stuff. Yeah, I mean, without a doubt, we'll talk. We'll talk after this call. But um, I tell you what, mate, it's been extremely um, entertaining. I've learned a lot just from listening to you, Gareth, and uh, I'm excited actually. To I, I was, my, my mind's been spinning with ideas just from <laughs> watching your content. So oh, thanks yeah. very much. Thanks no, very much for your help, mate. No, trust me, trust me. It's mate, it's it's super, super exciting stuff, man. Like I, I just um, there's no, there's no, nobody's doing this. Nobody's doing this, and 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 I just, I'm, I'm really good at it. It seems so. <laughs> I can tell that you are. So yeah, keep it up, mate. Well done, guys. You'd be crazy not to take up this offer if you're listening on YouTube now and a replay. Then hopefully there is still. Um, the opportunity for you to get involved in this in this yeah. offer. I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll throw the I'll throw the link up. There. Look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, what I'll do. We can put the link in the replay, but I'm going to take the product off of Stripe in in like a day's when you're time. at capacity. When you're at that, capacity. Is that, well, I mean, yeah. In, after a day's time, I'm just going to take it off if if, okay. if that makes things easier. Okay, mate. Sounds good. Yeah. All right, buddy. Everyone, thanks for turning up. Some really good questions. Um, as always, high caliber people here. So. We hope you enjoyed it. 
um, see you next time. Take care. Yeah, definitely. Thanks, guys. Thanks for everyone for having me. And it's been it's been great. Fun. It's been great fun. Um, that's it. All right, that's it. <laughs> cool, I love you. Love you. Love you. Everyone. Bye bye.